They did it. Those crazy sons of bitches finally did it. Everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Imagine my elation when I saw that one of my favorite whiskeys, one of my favorite budget bourbons, Larceny, was putting out a barrel-proof version. Now, I just was over the moon. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And I was even more excited when I saw that they were doing this in batches over the course of the year. Now, this is very similar to what you see with Elijah Craig, where they do multiple batches per year. In the case of Larceny, they're going to be doing them in January, May, and September. And the way that they label these things is very similar, again, to Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, where they do A, B, C, and then the second number, or second character, is the month. So in this case, A1 for January, 20 for year 2020. So this is A120. It's 123.2 proof, which is just freaking huge. <laughs> Love it. So if you remember Larceny from my previous video that I did on it, this is the story of a guy named John E. Fitzgerald, who was a treasury agent, who essentially think like a bondsman, who would go and use those keys that he's got. That's why it's got a key on it. Use those keys to go into the warehouses and pick select bottles and uh, barrels and take out what he wanted and just kind of drink it. And those were known as Fitzgerald barrels. And that's really it. That's all there is to this. The only thing, the reason I'm doing this episode is because this is a whiskey that I am really excited about. I want you guys to be excited about. And that's it. So a couple of quick stats. We got 68% uh, corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. So it is a weeded bourbon and it is non-chill filtered and bottled at the full barrel proof. So let's go ahead and pour some of this guy. As you can tell, this is probably going to be a bit of a short episode, but that's okay because I've already kind of talked about a lot, uh, larceny before and no reason to rehash. If you haven't seen that, you'll see a link to that video at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and check the nose. While I'm doing this, don't forget to hit the like button because <laughs> I like this whiskey. Ah, so interesting nosing here. First thing I'm getting, other than alcohol, which this is high ABV, so keep your nose a little further away, at least until you get used to it, is toasted bread, like pumpernickel bread. This is, uh, or maybe a rye bread, actually. No rye in it, but it's got just a, a bready kind of nose to it. So interesting. There's maple, there's cinnamon. <sighs> Brown sugar. Um... This was a note that I saw. I'm not getting this, but I think this will. This I saw this while I was researching, and I thought it was good enough to mention here. Somebody said it smells like Cracker Jacks, and uh, I could see that. You know, you've got a little bit of just that sweetness with caramel, and um, you know, maybe some buttery popcorn kind of thing. So it's an interesting note. Um, not really something I would have come up with, but I liked it. So including it. A little bit of um, maybe like a walnut and some butterscotch, like the candy. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste. Cheers. Mm hmm. That is every bit the 120 something, 123 proof. Woo, I love it. It is delicious. It's got caramel right on, just boom, right in front of you. It's got butterscotch, it's got maple, huge maple. Um, it's kind of this brown sugariness to um, very heavy oak though it's just totally coat in your mouth in those in those oaky tannins just really good but if that's not your thing this would be something that you're probably not gonna love until you drink enough of it that you do so uh, I think that's really it it's got a lot going on I've, I added some water to this in a previous uh, tasting of mine mostly just mutes things. It doesn't really bring out anything new for me, at least. Um, but, you know, try it yourself. Absolutely. If you've got this big of a bottle, there's no reason you shouldn't play around with it. So, um, as I mentioned, it's got this mouth drying kind of feeling that might not be for everybody. Um, that's mostly just the heavy oak, but it is what it is. So, this is a $50 bottle of bourbon. And at that range, you know, there's most bourbons are open to you at $50. Like you can kind of buy most things that you want. But when you're talking barrel proof, when you're talking batches, when you're talking multiple releases a year, that's in the range of where you might be spending your money, $50 to $60. So this is not overpriced by any means. It is, you know, a little high, but it's got high potential. The only thing I'm going to say, 
This gets a buy it from me right now, but I'm also gonna kind of reserve my judgment until they put out that second batch, which it's early May uh, or maybe mid-May, and uh, that should be coming out this month. So I'm gonna try to get my hands on that, bar um, that bottle as well. Might be a little bit tough with the whole quarantine thing, but we'll see. Anyway, so go ahead and buy this. You're gonna love it. If you don't love it, then send me the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thank you guys. If you are interested in the original version of the Larceny uh, video that I did, check it out over here. Otherwise, check out whatever YouTube thinks you should watch over here, or become a patron like these fine folks down here. These Look at, look at all these wonderful people. Look at them. Oh, they're so wonderful. And they are smart, because that is one of the best ways to get some of the merchandise off my channel. So, check out the Patreon page, check out the website, thewhiskeydictionary.com, and check out another video. Don't forget to hit subscribe or like if you liked it. So have a great rest of your night. Cheers.